Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be shifting away from the winter and the Christmas and the cold tumblers and I am making a beach tumbler and I'm really trying to go all out with this one because the first week of January my husband and I will be on vacation. We are going to the beach so I'm so excited. Um, I know it's kind of weird to go to the beach in January um, but there is a reason behind it that I can announce later. So what I want to do is I want to make a tumbler to take down there with me. <laughs> We're only going to be down there for a few days but I just I want to take a tumbler with me that I made. So I am starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight. This is a Courtney's Customs Blanks and I'll have my link in the description. And I'm going to start off with a hydro dip kind of like I did with my previous video. I, I know it's like double hydro dips, blah, but I promise this is going to be kind of like an all-out tumbler, so I'm really excited. These are Marabou Easy Marbles from the Glitter Grind. This one is Dark Ultramarine, and this one is Aqua Green, so really super pretty. I'm just going to do a quick hydro dip, and then I'm going to epoxy, and I'm going to put um, Helix into my epoxy. And then after that, I have these seashells that I got from Amazon. Of course, a lot of them are like too big and bulky to use. But then there's these little ones like these. There's a bunch of those in there that I'm going to use. And maybe I might try to get risky and use a couple like slightly bigger ones. I have those that I want to put like in the sand of the tumbler. And then I want to make a removable topper. And so I got these from Amazon as well. These are super, super cute. Um, this is actually, it was labeled for cake decorating, but we're going to use it for tumblers. So all of the super crazy fun stuff will come more like tomorrow. So today let's do this hydro dip and put some sand on the tumbler and let's have fun. Here we go. So everything is dry. It looks like a pretty ocean water wavy scene now. Um, so like I mentioned before, Marabou Easy Marbles are oil based. So if you do not seal them in some type of way, the epoxy will repel. So what I like to do the best, I know it takes a little longer to dry, but I really like to seal it with Mod Podge rather than just a spray sealant. And I'm going to kind of double up on this because I'm going to add some like sand to the bottom here. So after I Mod Podge the entire thing, while the Mod Podge is still wet, that's when I'm going to go ahead and apply the sand so I don't have to like wait for the Mod Podge to dry and then Mod Podge it again. So do it all in one step. Oh, really quickly, for the color for the sand, the glitter, I'm using Cashmere from the Glitter Grind. I like that it's not like that bright gold that I normally use for sand. This is more true to like a sand color. So it's Cashmere from the Glitter Grind and that's going to be our sand. Okay, so now that the Mod Podge is dry, this is what we have. What I'm going to do now is spray seal it just to, you know, spray seal the glitter like I normally would and then pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups, add one coat of epoxy, and then I'll come back tomorrow to show you like the really cool stuff I plan on doing. Alright, so here we are the next day. Everything is nice and smooth and I don't know if you can see or not, but I did put some Helix in my epoxy and gave the entire thing like a subtle sparkle. I love this already. I think it's so pretty. So now the next thing we're going to do is glue on these seashells and I'm going to hot glue them um, and then of course epoxy over them so they will be permanent and not come off. And then for the topper, which I'm also going to start on today, I'm going to make it a removable topper and I'm going to use counterculture DIY UV resin and their UV lamp. I am so super excited. I'm going to have a link for them down in the description. So, um, this will be my first time using it all too. So, so I'm really excited to see how good it works. So I'm not going to put on like a ton of seashells, just a handful, just like the smallest ones that I can find here. And I'm going to glue them down on the sand part of the tumbler. Um, and I, like I said, I'm going to use hot glue for that. Okay, 
so now moving on to the topper because I was gonna save that for last like after I do a decal but I'm really excited to try this so this is an acrylic blank round from Maker Flow Crafts. They come in like a pack of 25 and they're super, super inexpensive. So what I want to do is use counterculture DIY UV resin and I want to put a very light coat and then sprinkle on my cashmere to make it look like sand because I'm not going to be covering up like this entire round. It's very, very tiny and I don't want to clutter it. So I know you probably can't see it because it's clear. So I'm going to glove up and cut just a little bit like I don't want to do too much let me see if I can get that to spread out evenly all over the round okay and now I'm gonna sprinkle on my cashmere Ooh, I don't want to do it on that. It's not going to come off of that very well because it's silicone. Not thinking it through per usual. It's okay. Ah! Okay. So, sprinkle on my cashmere. Now I'm just going to tap off that excess. Now I'm going to put it down right here and I'm going to move this over. I will put that back in the container in just a minute. So now this is the UV lamp. It is so super cute. And I am just going to scoot this because I had to plug it up so high. The cord is not very long. So I'm going to tap the button twice to put it on 60 seconds. And just let it hover over that acrylic blank with the glitter on it for 60 seconds okay so this is good and I went ahead and sprayed over it just very lightly with two times rust-oleum clear just like I would a tumbler so now just like I would a tumbler I am going to put another layer of the resin on so I can get everything nice and smooth and of course permanent And then over it again for another 60 seconds. Okay, so now that's good to go. So what I need to do now, because I want to make this a removable topper, is add some magnets. And these teeny itty bitty tiny little magnets I got from Amazon. And of course, I will have a link in the description for you guys. I am also going to UV resin those on. So I need to put them because I don't think this comes off. If it does come off, I can't get it off. <laughs> so it's staying. Um, but there's like a hump right here. And of course, that's what's going to be touching the little removable piece that I'm putting on here. So I'm going to try to position these magnets like on that hump. So it might be kind of hard. Um, but I'm going to try dag on it. So I'm just putting some little dots of glue or not glue, resin, UV resin. And then I'm going to plop those magnets down without touching the resin hopefully I don't want to get it on my hands I'm gonna have to do one at a time because they are so close they want to pull and um, touch each other and I don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna do one at a time and now put the lamp over it for 60 seconds okay so those are good now of course um, you need the other magnets so the easiest way I have found to do this is to go ahead and put the other magnets on, let them just connect right on there, and then put a dab of glue on top of the new magnets that you just put on. Just be really careful because you don't want to put too much and then like glue the magnets together. So just a little dab. And then I'm going to put the acrylic blank round over it let it kind of sit on top of that and UV lamp all right now I'm going to flip it over I don't know if this is like necessary or not but I feel like it is I'm going to let the UV light hit from the other side too um like I said I literally do not know if this does anything or if this is necessary <laughs> but for some reason I'm like you should probably do it so I'm just trying to hit all angles I guess okay so now this is removable and it goes right back on 
and I feel like those magnets even though they're tiny they are mighty so like it's pretty strong it's not going to go anywhere of course I'm probably going to have well I will have to uh remove this if I want to actually drink out of the tumbler but I mean it's fine because I'm going to keep this and it's my own but if I had or if you want to do this and you have like a dremel or something I feel like that can be filed down right there um to create like a little opening for a straw but okay we move forward so now out of all of the little decorations over here that I got that were like for cakes this is what I'm going to choose I think who knows I might switch it up to put on the topper I really want to put like the beach chair and then the palm tree and then maybe like this little is that called a buoy or not a buoy what is it called a life ring is that what this is called I don't know I might not do the life ring I might I might do the little turtle I feel like that's cute but then I like how this adds more color than just green I don't know so I found this really cute like starfish and it's sparkly and I like that better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with one piece at a time um, UV it down I'm gonna start with the little beach chair because I want that to be the focus so I want it to be like more in the middle and just UV everything down so here we go Okay, so now I have the super cute decal. I got it on Creative Fabrica. I'll put a link in the description for y'all. But I did an offset with some white and textured gold vinyl. So let's go ahead and layer that up and get it on the tumbler. so much harder than it needed to be oh my gosh I felt like my tape was still really sticky but I guess not but anywho there it is with the decal really really super cute I absolutely love it so I'm not going to put it all together and let you guys see it yet I'm going to wait pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups with the seashells on there I'm going to start with three coats of epoxy we'll see how it goes after that um and I will let you guys know how many it actually takes so be right back all right guys so there are three coats of epoxy over this of course all of this is nice and smooth this is obviously not going to be smooth but it is smooth enough to where like I don't feel any of like the jagged edges of a seashell and then the spots where like it's kind of open that's all been filled with epoxy so everything is on here nice and good I am absolutely obsessed with this nine more days until I leave for the beach I'm so excited and I absolutely love CC DIYs UV resin and the lamp I mean it made things so easy um also remember I told you guys I needed a Dremel so I could like round this out right here so I wouldn't have to remove this to take a drink um my hubby bought me a Dremel and it came with a bunch of different little pieces I don't have it yet I think it's going to be delivered today um but that was like surprise Merry Christmas like because <laughs> I was talking to him about it and so he bought me one and I'm super excited I will put the link to the one that I'm getting down in the description it's super inexpensive from Amazon I expected them to be like way more but I'm really excited I got a Dremel yay before I go like always I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is you don't always need a plan sometimes you just need to breathe trust let go and see what happens that was said by Mandy Hale that's all I have for you guys today and this is my last video before Christmas so I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas stay safe I love you all so much and I appreciate you more than I will ever be able to explain and like always if y'all have any questions please feel free to comment don't forget to subscribe be kind love one another and I'll see you in the next one bye